Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. I first want to say thank you so much to everybody who participated in the blue Mordecai 12 valve second gen giveaway. You guys are absolutely awesome and thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. We have another huge announcement coming up. It's going to be coming up later this July and it's going to be super cool. And not only is it a big announcement in terms of a truck and what we have going on, um, for the next big giveaway, but Canada is now going to be able to participate in our giveaways. And before everybody freaks in and goes, oh my gosh, that's an entire country, I really only have like five to 10% of my fan base that's actually from Canada, and not to mention not every person enters, so do not freak out, guys. It's not that big of an, like a change in terms of how many people are gonna enter, but um, it's just opening it so the people that do want to, because I do randomly get a comment here and there, they are now eligible to enter as well, which is super important to me because I want everybody to be able to participate who wants to. Today we are going to pick up the wife's birthday gift, the other birthday gift. I got her gun and she loved that because we like to go shoot clays and stuff like that together and hunt and stuff. But I wanted to get her a truck. That's what I really wanted to get her. And so we're going to go trade the Malibu in. Yes, the mom car as I like to call it and get her a new truck to start working on. So stay tuned guys. It's going to be pretty cool. Last drive in the Malibu. How do you feel, Reagan? Not sad. Not sad. I know it's not really a surprise, which by the way, guys, I was gonna do like, I just got done telling her, I was gonna do like a surprise, like go trade in the Malibu, if I can get this lighting, go trade in the Malibu, have her distracted, park a truck in the garage, have her come out and see it, all this stuff, and I'm like, hmm, I would hate to get a truck the color she didn't want, or the model she didn't want, or like something to where it's like, it wasn't quite ideal for what she actually wanted to do with it. Once I kind of got an idea of what she actually wanted to do with her next truck, then I knew what, to actually get her and so I kind of had to take her out and get her opinion on what and why and yeah in the end she ended up wanting a completely different trim level and spec out truck than I would have thought and you guys will see that soon F350. are you yeah it's an f-350 how excited are you about the truck that you picked out I don't think it's hit me yet I don't think it has hit you yet either. it hasn't really hit me. well I mean it's kind of hit me it'll hit me on a buy the steering wheel yeah buy the steering wheel keys it's kind of a key it's kind of like a plastic fob. it's kind of like a little plastic fob you like fob. stick in the dash it's weird scale of one to ten excitement ready set go uh, 11. <laughs> 11 wow that's pretty good so anyways we're gonna get over here and um, hopefully they got her truck all shined up cleaned up and ready to go do you see it Reagan? yes i see, see, it. It. see, it. see don't it don't show it to them yet they can't see it they can't see it yet bam Right there. We'll get some more video up close in a sec. Okay, so we're in her truck, her brand spanking new truck. We're gonna actually get it back to her parents' house before we do any like going over all the specs, the details, what it has, what it, what it doesn't, all that jazz. For now, let's get it started up because I'm literally melting in here. I've never started. Uh, like Click this. it down in. It is down in. Do you have to wait? Um, Probably a little bit. I don't know. Doesn't say anything like wait. Okay. It's already got the AC on. Yeah, thank goodness too. Cold air in a new truck. It smells so nice in here. Ten miles. Yeah, you're good. Wow, that's ten cool. miles. How much do you Here's love your husband right now? A lot. A lot. A I should all the time though. Kind of sets the standard high for birthdays, right? That's where all my receipts are gone. Yeah. Sets the standard pretty high for birthdays though, right? Pretty high. Pretty high. <laughs> so, what? first like five minutes driving your new truck, how's it feel? How's it feel? Good. Feel good? Does it feel a I've... lot different than like, Rosine? Yeah. <laughs> like the hood is different, like sitting over top. But I feel like I'm in the Longhorn, to be honest. Well. Even though it's not like... The only thing I do like about this is that like you can put stuff here and like you know how like um and like the and you have a six seat it. if you absolutely need yeah because you know how like there's that big bulkiness where you can't oh I know can't. it's like all just like plastic and cup holders and I like how like yeah I don't know I just like how there's more room right there she likes it open she I likes like it, it open. open that way when I'm driving it when we're going on long trips she can flip this up and sit next to me cuddle with me when we're on our way to vacation right. Yeah. That's exactly what she was thinking. She just forgot to say or it like I that. Or if I want to drive, she needs to shuttle. Yeah, 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 yeah. But let's not talk about that anymore. That's, you know, it's, we got to keep it PG. So we are actually back home now, back to Reagan and I's place. And I'm going to go over the, basically like the 
package in like what we have on her truck. Now, this is her truck, it's her build, it's gonna be pretty much 99% on her channel and that's pretty much it other than this video and maybe some little updates throughout um, the content that you see here on the Loud and Proud channel. If you wanna go follow her channel and see her fourth gen build, follow it is just rosing 24 v and she has two beautiful trucks now. I've got three right behind me here, but this one's gonna be going off to one of you guys. This one's gonna be getting a makeover and this one's gonna be getting some more work done here very soon. So let's get into her truck, the details, why she went with what she did. I'm not gonna go over the build specs in terms of what she's gonna do to it. That's gonna be for her content, her channel. Um, this is her truck, her gift, so it's gonna be done the way she wants to do it. Super proud of her, super excited for her, and uh, I think she's gonna really turn this truck into something really cool. Of course, you guys know Reagan is a hard worker. She produces pretty darn good content, and um, she's gonna be pushing out a lot more. Past few weeks have been kind of slow for her, and slow for me because we've been doing um, stuff to prepare for our wedding that we just had, our honeymoon, and just you know launching the new lawn care business, a whole slew of stuff, redesigning stuff on the website, and just a lot of stuff. So. Finally, we're starting to stabilize a little bit, of, if you know what I'm saying, and uh, we're settled in our house with our shop, with our trucks, everything's here, kind of full, but um, we're gonna go through kind of her truck and the package and what all it has. First thing I wanna point out is four link rear suspension. This truck does have four link, and I'm super stoked about that because with what she's gonna do with it, like I said, we're not gonna name everything, but it's gonna ride really, really nice. It does have the black fender flares. Those are probably gonna be going, but um, that's up to her. I'm not really 100% what she's gonna do with those. In terms of the engine, of course you guys know it's the 6.7 Cummins. It's basically the same one that I had in my fourth gen. The previous fourth gens didn't have multiple options of the 6.7. They did have transmission options if you have the 3500 version of the truck, but in terms of the engine itself, there was one option. If you're going with diesel, and that was the 6.7 Cummins, not, you know, different variations of that engine like they have in the 2019s. There's her second gen build, which she has a lot of stuff. She's going to be doing that too. She's about to go content crazy, so hopefully you guys are ready. And um, so you come into the interior, you've got pretty much all the power options, power mirrors, power windows, power locks, all that jazz. Got her seat up real close because she is a short girl and uh, likes to be able to see over the hood. The seats are the only thing that are not power in this truck, okay? Both seats are manual. I'm gonna slide this back so I can get up in here. Show you what she's got going on in here. So she's got the center console here with a bunch of storage. She does have the USB ports, auxiliary stuff. She does have wireless calling. You can see the mics up here and stuff. Um, she's got backup cameras, backup sensors. I mean, all, all the jazz, all the auxiliary buttons. I mean, the thing has options. Another USB port. And I think it's got, I got, I think it's got something in the back. It's got the drawer here, storage stuff. She's gonna be keeping all of her receipts down there for business expenses, because we are a very business oriented couple. Business is very important to us. Middle seat here flips up. She, for some reason, um, wants me to sit a little bit closer to her. She does have that. Floors, of course, are carpet, not vinyl in this truck, as you guys can see. Take a look under the hood here for you guys. I'm gonna show you what she's got going on under, the, under there. She does have the mirrors with the lights in the mirrors and she does have cab lights. And on a 2500, if you guys know much about 2500s, um, cab lights are not a standard, they're an optional feature. So she's super stoked to have the cab lights. Under the hood, we've got a dusty 6.7 because this thing sat on the lot for two years and didn't sell, which is why we got an amazing deal on it. Like a really good deal. We're gonna be doing a lot of uh, stuff under here getting stripped out for her to be able to work the magic that she wants to under the hood of this truck. It's a beauty. In the back seat here, we do already now have dog hair all over the seats because, well, she has three dogs, I have two dogs, which you might be able to hear them faintly barking in the background because we did just move them into our house. Underneath the back here, you've got these secret little cubbies, which of course will come in handy, you know. All the stuff you need, store ammunition, some of you have for deer hunts, oh, I'm just messing with you guys. Maybe I'm joking, maybe, maybe I'm not. It is a four x four off-road package. Camera in the tailgate. She does, of course, have a class two. Here she comes. Here comes the new owner. Well. Well what? Well, how do you, how do you like it? They want to know, how did you like putting your first 120 miles on the truck now? Kind of hurt. It hurt. 
it's like if it's you, it's like, oh, whatever, it's got some miles on it anyways. And then it's like brand new, it's like, ugh. I know, I told her, I said, it was not easy to put, you know, 3,000 miles on this truck in like the first two months. I'm like, oh, I know it's normal and it's, but it's new, you know what I mean? Like, so you see it go from zero to whatever it is. So you realize how many miles you're actually putting on it. So there's her truck. I showed you guys around basically like the package that she has. It is an 18 tradesman. So it's not like a fully loaded truck. And that's what she wanted. Is that not what she wanted? Yeah, I didn't really care for all the fancy stuff. I, I didn't like, tell him anything. Like, you're why don't you get it. like leather seats and stuff? I'm like, well, you're gonna have to wait and see because like there's a reason why I didn't get like full blown out like Longhorn seats because I do prefer like I really like the interior of the Longhorns. There's a reason why I didn't go with Longhorn because I couldn't really customize it. I'd feel too guilty like to mess up the interior, you know. When you're gonna do certain things to a truck, it defeats the purpose of spending 20 grand more right. to get those things, and then you're not gonna use them anyways because you're gonna change them. So it's right, and it does what I'm I gonna leave it at that. It <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. But you guys are gonna have to. I told them they have to watch your video if they want all the details, yeah. build details, what you're gonna do to it. I just showed them the package and what all options it had. For the rest of it. You're gonna have to go check out her channel. It's Rosine 24 v You're gonna watch the build take place there. But man, this truck is just gonna look super, super sick and I cannot wait to see how it turns out. She's got her ideas on what she wants to do with it and how she wants to go about it. But actually seeing the transformation take place is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. I think you guys are gonna like it because with this build, of course, she's taking like an extremely like bone stock low trim level truck and she's going to completely transform it to where you would never think this was a tradesman i mean it's going to be so so cool but this one's going to be a little bit different because she's going to have her twist to it with her branding stuff and her colors and it's just going to really turn out awesome i think it's going to be one of the coolest like actually female built cummins that you guys have ever seen when i say actually built i mean like she's doing a lot of this stuff herself she's not like you know showing up with a fancy truck and has everybody just you know do it for her She's actually going to be doing a lot of the stuff to it, and I think you guys are going to really like how she does this truck up. I mean, you guys know her taste with Rosine. She has good taste, don't you think? Um, so I think you guys are going to really like the direction she takes with this thing. So overall, babe, how does it feel to be the owner of now two super cool, going to be super, super cool Cummins diesels? Pretty good. Pretty cool. 18 year old girl yeah, has they got ever owned two trucks at once two trucks like this huh never thought that never thought it super proud of you you've done a lot of good stuff and you've helped me out a ton and you're gonna do really good with your brand and your channel and love you love appreciate you. you you do good and i cannot wait to see what you do with this truck any final things you want to touch on about this whole experience with your new truck um, the channel i mean literally a brand new truck at 18. i feel very blessed to have two very cool diesel trucks but I'm more blessed to have my husband, so. Oh, she, look, she's just the sweetest thing. You Give me a hug, come on, come on, bring it in. <laughs> Yeah. guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this she's like i don't like driving now she likes driving so anyways we got to run to the store grab some groceries to get settled back in at home and have something to eat so thank you guys so much for watching though hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below subscribe if you're new join the team join the family and we will catch you in the next video peace